Hi guys. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. And for today's lesson we'll discuss about earthquakes and faults. At the end of the lesson we must answer the following questions, what is an earthquake? What is a fault? How do faults produce quakes? Let us have a short review first. Read each item carefully. Choose the letter of the best answer and write your answer on a sheet of paper. Here we go. What do you call a fracture or crack on the Earth's surface? A stress. B earthquake. C fault. D crust. The answer is C. Fault. What will be produced if there is a sudden movement of the Earth's crust due to the release of stress accumulated along geologic faults or by volcanic activity? A typhoon. B tsunami. C earthquake. D landslide. The answer is C. Earthquake. Which agency of the government in the Philippines is monitoring the movement of the Earth crust? A Favolx. B Pagasa. C Dust. D D E N R. The answer is A. Favolx. Which among of the following is the safest location during an earthquake? A. Inside the house. B. Inside the car. C. In an open area. D. Under a tree. The answer is C. In an open area. What is the instrument used to detect and record earthquakes? A. Seismograph. B. Seismometer. C. Intensity scale. D. Richter scale. The answer is B. Seismometer. What is an earthquake? An earthquake is caused by a sudden slip on a fault. The tectonic plates are always slowly moving, but they get stuck at their edges due to friction. When the stress on the edge overcomes the friction, there is an earthquake that is released in the form of energy in waves, that travel through the Earth's interior and crust, that cause the shaking that we feel. In May 2020, just last year, Philippines have experienced a 5.3 magnitude quake that hit Luzon. Shaking from the earthquake was felt across the region, including in Manila and Quezon City, where some said the tremors were strong enough to wake them. Luckily, there were no immediate reports of damage or casualties. What is a fault? A fault is a fracture or zone of fractures between two blocks of rocks. Faults allow the blocks to move relative to each other. This movement may occur rapidly, in the form of an earthquake. How do faults produce quakes? Energy from Earth's interior makes the ground move. Friction hold the rocks together. Once the friction is overcome, the ground will move and the earthquake will occur. Earthquakes are caused when faults slip suddenly. Friction between the two sides of a fault keeps it from moving until the stress on the fault overcomes the friction, then fault slips and creates an earthquake. Types of faults Faults are classified according to movement of two blocks. There are three types of faults namely Normal fault A dip-slip fault in which the block above the fault has moved downward relative to the block below. This type of faulting occurs in response to extension. Occurs when the hanging wall moves down to the foot wall. Reverse fault A dip-slip fault in which the upper block, above the fault plane, moves up and over the lower block. This type of faulting is common in areas of compression, when the dip angle is shallow, a reverse fault is often described as a thrust fault. Occurs where the hanging wall moves up or is the thrust over the foot wall. Strike slip fault A fault on which the two blocks slide past one another. The San Andreas Fault is an example of a right lateral fault.
Two type of strike slip fault. A left lateral strike slip fault. If you were to stand on the fault and look along its length this is a type of strike slip fault where the left block moves toward you. And the right block moves away. A right lateral strike slip fault. If you were to stand on the fault and look along its length this is a type of strike slip fault where the right block moves toward you. And the left block moves away. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.